Good morning, everyone. We have the official agenda item presented. And at this time, we uh, have on your program for special remarks. And I would like to lead that by saying that this is indeed a day of honor for our community. It's a day that is long overdue. And I think the occasion of naming this street for our Tyler Rose is only appropriate, especially when you consider it's starting at the administration building of Tyler Independent School District. Mr. Campbell had the honor of going through Tyler Independent School District and got his education there and as we know went on to great things and is still achieving many things. There are people that God puts in our life that encourage us, that help us strive to do better, to help us reach for our goals and I think Earl Campbell is one of those people and we are very honored that he could be here today. At this point in time, I would like to have Councilman Sanders to please come forward. We've had the agenda item presented, and we will need to get a motion on the floor. So first of all, let me get a motion. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, rename, that we accept the resolution and rename New, Gen New Sunny Brook to Earl Camel Parkway. We have a motion, is there a second? We have a motion and a second. Okay, at this time we will have our special remarks starting with Councilman Donald Sanders. Thank you, Mayor Bass. Good, evening, good morning to everyone that's here. As the Mayor stated earlier, indeed this is a great day in the city of Tyler, great day in America, that we can lay aside all selfishness and honor such great man as Earl Campbell for his accomplishments in his life. Just a little bit about how this came about. We have such a great staff of individuals in the city of Tyler that we work with in the mayor, city manager, and all the council staff, city attorneys, and all that help make up our city. City manager Mark McDaniel and I was in a conversation and he made mention to me that they had been trying to come up with a street that would be a great street to name after Mr. Earl Campbell. I made a suggestion to him because we had two new streets that had been approved for construction in my district that we consider either Town Park Boulevard that's in the planning or New Sunnybrook. After thinking just a brief while, I said, well, why not New Sunnybrook? Since Earl Campbell's professional career started at TISD and this street will start at the administration building what great street, what great street to name after him. So after Mr. McDaniel and staff done the groundwork and, and got everything in place, it was agreed upon that we would do so. My personal thoughts about Mr. Campbell and the impact it had on the city of Tyler is very difficult to measure. His achievements inspired the entire community and city and made the impossible seem possible. He made each of us believe that with hard work, determination, and perseverance, anything could be accomplished. This was not a man that was, came from a wealthy family background, rather a family that was made up of working people, church inspired, church motivated. When Earl's God-given talents was paired with a fierce determination to succeed, we were, all, we were all inspired. His successes were our successes. He shone a light on the whole city of Tyler. We felt that our goals were also attainable as he inspired all of us to reach our goals and dreams to become a reality. Today in the spirit of this great occasion, I have a proclamation. Whereas Earl Christian Campbell was born March 29, 1954 in Tyler, Texas to Bert and Ann Campbell. He is the sixth of 11 children. During his senior year at John Tyler High School, Campbell and his teammates met in the Astrodome at their state playoff game against Austin Reagan. It was here that Earl rushed over 200 yards and led the Lions to the 1973 Texas State Championship. 
During this same year, Camel gained the title of All-American running back, rushing over 2,224 yards. And whereas Earl Campbell signed with the University of Texas in 1974, during his collegiate years, he earned the honors of Southwest Conference Newcomer of the Year, 1974, All-Southwest Conference, and named to the All-American team rushing for over 1,000 yards in 1975, and he won the Heisman Trophy in 1977, rushing for 1,744 yards. And whereas Earl came into the NFL as a first-round draft pick to the Houston Oilers in 1978, he was voted Rookie of the Year and Most Valuable Player in his first season. Earl returned his alma mater, the University of Texas at Austin, to graduate with a bachelor's degree in speech communications. And whereas Earl Campbell retired from the NFL on August 18, 1986, during the eight years he played, he achieved 9,407 yards rushing, 806 yards receiving, 74 total touchdowns, and 10,213 total yards. Earl Campbell was inducted into the Football Hall of Fame in July 21, 1991. Now, therefore, I, Barbara Bass, Mayor of the City of Tyler, do hereby declare March 24, 2010 as Earl Campbell Day in the City of Tyler, Texas. <laughs> and urge all citizens to recognize his outstanding accomplishment. Mr. Campbell, you have brought great honor to our community. You have also shared and brought great honor to those around you. And I echo everything that has been said about you today. By using your God-given talent, you have not only helped change your life, your family's life, but the life of others. For what you have done for our fabulous, wonderful city, Tyler, Texas, I now present you with a key to the city. One, two, three, let's unveil. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I will say this that, uh, you know my wife Renee and my son Christian, I mean Tyler. <laughs> Tyler does a great job in taking care of me. And uh, the reason him and I are together so much because he has to do everything in the company because all I do is work out. <laughs> and we do have another son, his name is Christian. Earl Christian in the second. But uh, I kind of told Tyler this a little bit, you know, since we're together so much and we was talking in the car and Tyler knew more about this before I did. Uh, but I don't know, I, you people have done a tremendous job on the council and I don't know what to say, but thank you. It's going to be hard riding back to Austin because I'm going to tell Tyler, look like everything is not dad no more, it's mister. <laughs> you know. Um, I think some of my brothers and sisters are here. I thank them very much for being here. And my mother in law, Moselle, and L.G. Smith, I also see them. And. I am a member of a group of guys that do a lot for the city of Tyler, and I thank them for being here. And that's the custom truckers, and we do a lot for kids and trying to have people in the community, so it's nice to see you all here as well. And I don't know, you can tell, I don't know, William Hart, I think he thinks I'm his son. 
because all I have to do is just, he keeps up with that Earl Campbell like nobody else because he can find him. But I will, these are two ladies I spend more time with now than anything and I thank them for being here. And that's my two therapists, Lisa and Amy. Would y'all please stand? We work out an awful lot together, but I tell you this, when I first met those women, I was on a walker, and they had an Amy, and I asked this Amy, you know, when I found out, I said, gee, in March, you know, I don't want to go on that road anymore. I want to be able to walk. She says, well, I tell you what, we'll shoot for that. And uh, they have done a great job in getting me to move my bones again, and I really appreciate that. And... I really do, I, you know, I, I, people can try to do things in life that I guess God gives them a talent to do and somewhere in all of that, sometimes they abuse it and then sometimes uh, it gets to the point that where it's all me, you know. But there hasn't been anything I've ever done in my life I have accomplished by myself. It's always been my friends. And I will not take none of this credit all by myself this morning because somewhere in my life, every time I move, it's always somebody else, not just myself. But I will tell you all this, there is nothing like traveling across this country and uh, people always want to know, where is that place called Tyler? <laughs> so I describe it like this, I say, you know what Dallas is, right? Mm -hmm. They say, yeah. I say, you know what Louisiana is? Yes. I say, well, Tyler, Texas is right in the middle of that. And I say, you know, it's about 200,000 or more people live there. And they say, wow. I say, yeah, when I show up, you know, it's about 300,000. <laughs> they say, why is that, Earl? I say, well, most of the time I bring about 50,000 with me. <laughs> but I will say this, that uh, I'm awfully happy to be from Tyler, Texas. I don't. Uh, hide that at all. I do the best I can to let people know everywhere, all across the country, that that's where I'm from. And it's a great city. It's the rose capital of the world. They said, what? I said, yeah. I said, you know, a lady in Tyler, Texas would rather have a pink pair of house shoes for Christmas or Valentine's or anything. But don't give her a dozen of roses. They said, why is that? I said, because you can just walk out in the field and pick them. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. <laughs> and it is so great to be here and to be a part of this. But um, Tyler, Texas is something else. And I thank you all very much. And the council, I thank you all for the street. And I would do everything in my power, and I always say this, to try to hold Tyler, Texas to the best of my ability and always try to wear that on my shoulders and saying that I hope in my lifetime I always try to be a man. And I do stumble and I do fall, but I always hope that I will be a man that can be respectable and try to do things right. And I thank you all very much. Tyler, come get the old man, would you? <laughs> thank you all very much.